Olukord Suurbritannia lahkumise osas Euroopa Liidust ei näita ajaga selginemise märke. Pigem on sisepoliitilistest kemplustest räsitud ühendkuningriik mässinud end aina suuremasse ebaselgusesse, mille tulemuseks on rahul olematus nii nende poolt, kes 2016. aasta referendumil hääletasid Euroopa Liidust lahkumise poolt, kui ka nende inimeste poolt, kes soovisid Euroopa Liidu koosseisu jääda. Esmaspäeval kiitsid Euroopa Liidu liikmesriigid heaks ühendkuningriigi Euroopa Liidust lahkumise taaskordse edasi lükkamise ning sel korral kuni kolme kuu võrra 31. jaanuarini. Kokkulepe näeb ette, et kui Briti peaministril Boris Johnsonil õnnestub veenda parlamenti lahutuslepet heaks kiitma enne järgmist aastat, võib Brexit leida aset 30. novembril või 31. detsembril. Kolumnist Edward Lucas ei välista ka varianti, et tulemas võib olla uus referendum, mis aga omakorda võib pingelisele olukorrale vaid vinti juurde keerata. You have always been against Brexit. Uh, do you think the possibility for not leaving the EU is still there? I think in a way it's best than it's ever been because we've, we, what we needed to stop Brexit was um, a catalytic electoral event. Um, we need something that undoes the mandate of the referendum. And so all my efforts over the last two and a half, three, nearly three years, have been to make sure we don't leave, because once we've left, the uh, way back is very difficult. And then to try and get um, either an election or a second referendum. Neither of them is ideal, um, but, but one of the two is a precondition, I think, for, um, for staying in. Do you think the second referendum would divide uh, the percentage of the votes differently? Well, I don't know. And I think there's a real problem with the second referendum. There's a, there's a problem about what question do we put? Do we have just remain or no deal? Or do we have Boris Johnson's deal or some other deal on the, on the ballot paper? So that's a problem. And then there's a problem about the turnout, that it might be a lower turnout than last time, which would be seen to lack legitimacy. Or the result might be even narrower um, than, the, uh, than it was last time. So there's lots of problems. I don't think this is going to be easy. And whatever happens, the damage is Kui Brexiti osas on kõik veel lahtine, siis Briti peaministri soovi puhul korraldada erakorralised valimised jõuti parlamendi alamkojas kokkuleppele. Käes oleva nädala teisipäeval toetas antud ettepanekud enne tähtaegsete valimiste korraldamiseks 12. detsembril 438 alamkoja liiget. What are the chances for Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn at the election? The biggest loser in all this has been Jeremy Corbyn. I mean, this year, with any, almost any other leader of the Labour Party, the Labour Party were doing really well. And he is not just, it's not just that he's left wing, he's indecisive, he communicates badly, he runs his team badly. Um, he's fundamentally a politician of protest rather than a politician of power. And I think the electorate can see that. Uh, yeah, I think we need to clear the house, get it done and dusted. And uh, I think that people are a little bit fed up of just overall impasse. Um, too much uncertainty, there's too much division. We just need to kind of have a fresh start, see what happens, and it either goes one way or another. But I think people will be generally a bit more happier rather than the same old, same old of nothing happening. Uh, well, I can't stand Boris. I think he's a fraud, a liar and a fake. Uh, so it epitomises his approach and lack of respect for democracy. I think we've just got to bring this to some sort of resolution. So I think we've had many votes in the last 12 months in Parliament and I think the general election might be a way to sort, sort this all out. I beg to move that the bill be now read a second time. My Lords, I'm pleased to open the second reading debate of the early parliamentary general election bill. While the government did not want an election, this parliament has not been able to agree a way forward on the major political issue facing the country. The purpose of this bill is to allow the public to have their say and to give the other place the mandate to resolve this deadlock. Boris Johnson loodab, et valimised annavad talle värske mandaadi Brexiti kokkuleppe jaoks ja praeguse parlamendi pattiseisu murdmiseks, mis on viinud Brexiti järjekordse edasi lükkamiseni. We are left with no choice but to go to the country to break free from this impasse and to allow us all to submit as we must in all humility to the judgment of the electorate and to allow us to make our case 
and above all to allow a new and revitalised Parliament with a new mandate to deliver on the will of the people and get Brexit done. Because that new Parliament, in just a few weeks' time, will have before it a great new deal with the EU. I think being cynical about it, what he wants to do is to say that it is to have the glory of achieving Brexit, but then um, minimise the damage. I suspect probably by going for a very um, soft deal with the EU that will minimise um, the economic costs. So I think he is, uh, he, if it was up to him, he would probably like a rather, I mean, a, a Brexit that looks dramatic, but actually has very little, of, you know, doesn't do too much damage. Um, but I, yeah, I think he's, to put it mildly, has a very flexible approach to his principles, um, and we shall see. But I, I think he, yeah, he's played this tactically very heavily. He's, he's got a new deal where people said no, deal, no new deal was possible. Actually, the new deal is just by accepting the, the, the EU's original negotiating position and giving up the concessions that Theresa May had got, but never mind, it looks new. And um, now he's um, in a position to um, go to the electorate and reap the benefit for being you know, the guy who's done his best to get Brexit. Um, so I, I think he's quite, quite well tactically. Whether he's played it well strategically, we shall see.